Hey there, Lupter here, and welcome back to Minecraft on our Hardcore Survival World. For today's episode, I actually got a small surprise for you guys. Um, I did do a little bit of off-screen work. Don't worry, nothing too major, like, oh my god, he got a thousand diamonds or something like that. I'm not that type of YouTuber, but... I did do a little bit of reorganizing where we finally have our chest inside the house, no longer on the front yard. I mean, we got organization with some wood, some ores, uh, mob drop, all this fun stuff. It could be a little bit better, I know that much, but I think for now we got a pretty good system here. But yeah, overall that is the most I really did off camera. So today's episode I want to get started on like actually working on some progression here, like fight the weather. That is one of the major things I want to do. So I'm going to go out, start getting some some skulls and then just explain some of the other stuff i want to do now on top of fighting the weather i do want to start making that windmill that i've been saying i should probably make for like a long while now because i don't know i've been saying it for the past few episodes and by the end of the episode it's just like uh i'm too tired i don't want to make a windmill spend like more time on it and i feel like i'm just putting it off at this uh at this point so i really want to start working on it and then on top of that i think i want to start working on making some other stuff like working on my raid farm area because we spent like a good few hours there just to not really do anything more with it besides making the platform so want to work on that and i don't know probably start working on some other stuff like a proper mine shaft or no we have one already maybe start working on the ancient city would be a good uh good idea now sadly we are on one of the hardest part of this episode besides like fighting the weather and that's getting the weather skulls to fight the weather for because it can be a long process before we're actually gonna get like a single skull here even with looting three, like, I don't know why it's just such a pain sometimes. We got a chest here. Did we loot it? We did. All right, I'm going to steal that real quick and then continue looking for some skill boys. Ooh, we got some obsidian in this chest. going to take that. You know what? I probably should have brought some arrows because we're going to be dealing with a lot of, like, long distance blaze shots. But, uh, oh, well, you live and learn. Well, we got a skeleton over here, but not the skeleton we wanted. Oh, please give me a skull. Of course, you did not give me one. Damn it, you were the first one I've seen in a while. Ooh, we got a second guy. Okay, please give me one. Please give me one. Let me just, like, miss all my swings there. Wow. And, of course, still no, uh, still no skull. You guys might need to bring some popcorn and just wait a little bit here, because I don't think I'm going to be getting a skull anytime soon. Holy smokes, that is a firing squad over there. And a bunch of weather skeletons too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to get some of these kills here. I'm gonna kind of take care of all these blazes here, because wow, there is a lot of these guys here. Like, geez, why is there so many? On a plus side, this should clear up a little bit of the spawn rates around here. <gasps> we finally got it! We finally got a skull! Wow, that took way too long. I'm not gonna lie, I killed like 20, 30 of these guys already, and it took so long to find, like, three of them together, basically. But finally, we got a skull. We just need one more, and we can fight the, uh, fight the weather. On the plus side, we are getting a lot of coal, which I love because of the fact that I don't want to go mining for it. So it just makes it a lot easier to just get it straight away. Ooh, we got somebody that's not supposed to be here. What are you doing here, Gast? What are you doing here? You want to need an arrow? You can- Oh, hang on, you're coming down. Let me actually come near you, because I want to get a gas here from you. Wow, that did not- uh, That did not one-shot it. Bit weird. Usually, uh, that does. Come here, come here. Ah, you're running away. Fine, I'll kill you normally. Did you drop anything useful? Does not look like it. Just some XP. Okay, never mind. Ooh, about to fall there. You know, I always love seeing, like, baby zombies or zombie piglins just ride chickens. It's just a- Funniest thing, just seeing a baby something just ride a chicken. Ha! Ah, there we go. We got the second skull. Okay, that means we got three skulls because we got one back at home. We can finally leave. Ah, oh, man, that took way too long. Right, let me get my wings here. And then once more again, fly through the sky. God, I love flying through the nether. Just, It's just so beautiful just flying through everything. I'll be honest, it feels like one giant obstacle course, and I'm trying to, like, avoid hitting everything. Alright, there's our third wither skull. Uh, we should probably get rid of some stuff. I don't really need any of this stuff. Uh, bones, however, I'll throw in here, as well as the gunpowder. And we need soul sand. Bum, bum, bum. And we should 
probably get some potions here. That'll probably be a lot useful. Totems as well. Because we're probably going to take a huge beating here. Ooh, we got a potion of strength. That will definitely be useful. Uh, we should probably grab some arrows as well so we don't forget about it. I think that should be more than enough. We'll go about two stacks. Or two stacks plus eight. Yeah, that should be that should be way more than enough. And golden apples. Golden apples will be a lifesaver. All right, I should have pretty much everything I need. I got like healing stuff. I got some arrows, some strength pots, totems. We should be pretty good. Hopefully we don't die, but we'll see once we go fight him. Um, I'm going to try to go like underground because I think that would be a lot easier than fighting him like above ground. Uh, so I'm going to go this direction towards the little uh, little like cave system here. All right, I think about down here should work. We should probably make a little small tunnel so that way we can like actually trap him in a confined space so i'm gonna go this direction here and we should probably make sure no mobs come here so i'm gonna block it off and i think about right here should be a pretty good size area all right i guess we should probably get started on fighting the wither so i'm gonna place the skulls one two three okay uh we should probably get a quick screenshot because i want to get that pretty cool uh thumbnail uh this is not a good thumbnail nope i'm just gonna keep on running Okay, he is kind of hurting us up a little bit. I'm going to get my strength pot activated here, and we're going to just kind of try to hit him as fast as we can. Try not to die here. Uh, we're going to drink a uh, potion of regeneration as well. This is, ooh, this is not going so well so far. Okay, we got to eat. We got to eat. Okay, back away. Then continue fighting. Continue fighting. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. He's at half health, half health, half health. Yes, yes. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. One more swing. Yes, there he goes. Down. He is down. Ooh, I'm almost going to be down. Uh, let me eat real quick. But yes, we got it. The legendary Nether Star. Oh, that is so beautiful. Well, all right. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we should probably get out of here. I think that's the direction up here. Going to equip my wings here. Get some fireworks and just kind of fly out of here once we regen some health back. Jesus, how long do we have weather for? We have been just taking a lot of damage for a while there you know i'm not gonna lie i thought that was gonna be a lot more stressful when it came to the weather fight like i didn't expect it to be kind of easy i guess but hey you know what i'm not complaining that much because i'd rather it be easy than like use so many totems have a close call and just probably die even because uh that would be a nightmare to go through Oh yeah, I should probably take care of that as well. I'll do that once I deposit some of my inventory here, because we got like a huge, a huge mess of items here. All right, the time is now to dismantle this thing. It took a lot of work to make it, but it is time to get rid of it. You know, I really wish I could say we need this still, but we really don't, because we got like a creeper farm, we got an XP farm that's a lot better than this. And just, I don't know, I guess the only thing we would really need technically would be like bones and arrows. But even then, that is so easy to get that I'm not even like sweating over it. On a plus side, we are going to be getting a lot of resources back with this. I know at least like probably like seven stacks worth of cobblestone. Ooh, you know what? I might need to head back to our base real quick to deposit some of this like cobblestone we collected because we are kind of running out of inventory space. So let me, let me quickly do that. You know, the sun is setting right now, and I really hope that we don't have, like, any mob spawn. Not that I'm worried we'll die or anything, but just the fact that it would be a, just a small nuisance to us. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little weird not seeing anything right here. Just emptiness. Well, besides the lighthouse and whatnot around down there, but I'm just saying up here-wise. It's just so weird. Super weird. You know, it would be a really cool idea if you could get, like, a haste potion... Because, I don't know, I feel like there should be some other way besides a uh, beacon to get that. Alright, this is the final block for a sky block. Man, that is a lot of spiders. Hang on. I'm sorry. I gotta quickly see about this. We got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven spiders down there. Jesus. But, as I was saying, this is the final block to our XP farm. So, with this, I shall bid adieu. Holy Christ. That is a lot of monsters. Look at all this. I'm not going down there. I'm not. Nope. 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 
we're going back to our base. Well, all right. I guess let us start working on a windmill. I'm thinking we're going to need a lot of resources. We're going to need some wood. We got enough cobblestone, but I want to get like spruce wood. So we should probably start growing some more saplings of that. And then we should probably make sure we have enough wool. Because we'll need that for like the little like windmill blade part of it. Uh, how did you escape? You're not supposed to be out here. Eh, whatever. I'm not going to stress over these uh, horses running away. I'm going to find out what we have resources wise as far as the wool goes. Hopefully we got a good amount, but I don't know. Two stacks, 22. That should, I think that should be enough. I think that should be enough for what I'm looking for. I'm going to grab it though, just to be safe. All right, so we're going to build it over here. I'm going to get started on some chests right here. Put some of our resource inside. Uh, we're going to need some wood. I'll grab some more cobblestone just to be safe. And then, yeah, we'll get started on a building process. Now, we'll have it be a little different from our traditional building montage. Um, a couple of episodes ago, I touched a little bit on this topic, but I did download the replay mod. So that way we can like easily record it without having to be like first person perspective. I can have it be like a third person perspective. Oh, you know what? We should probably make sure we have enough oak wood because I want to make sure we have like highlights to this. And I think oak will work the best with spruce because birch would be way too bright and acacia would look way too weird. Thankfully, I don't really need like oak logs. I just need like stairs, fences, that sort of stuff just to make it a little bit more I guess nicer make it pop out a bit more but i do know we should have a lot of like planks back at home i don't know how much uh oh hang on we got we got a good amount i think we should have way more than enough okay while it's on my mind i'm actually gonna place some doors around like this because i've had a few creepers just walk straight in and just blow up half my staircase and it's like come on leave me alone i don't want to deal with like rebuilding all right gonna make this crafting table and with that we should be pretty much ready to start making a windmill so i will see you guys at the end of this montage Wow, look at that. That is just beautiful. I think that's like one of the best windmills I've ever made because I tried making it so many times in the past and it always looks so weird, but I honestly think that this looks so good. Yeah, I am very proud of this. I need to I need to add some accent, like some stairs like I have down here, right up here. But I think besides that and the windows, I need to add windows. I think it looks really good. Now, I think the other thing I need to do is add some like outside decals, kind of flatten this area up a little bit back here because it looks a little weird. Uh, probably make a proper pathway as well from here to our like walkway over here on the mountainside. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty much it besides inside the chaos, glass, that sort of stuff. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here soon. I know I said I was going to like work on a raid farm, but I kind of just... I'm a little burnt out. I put all my creative juices inside this windmill and I kind of, I got nothing in my head, but I think I'm going to work on it off camera just a little bit, nothing too crazy, just to get some like basis going, some lights and a little bit of like supplies here and there. But alrighty, I think this will be the end of the video. So if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without a way, this has been Lipton20 signing out. Bye-bye.